What's up, people? One up, punch here. Picked up a game called End State for twenty dollars on Steam. I wanted to show off. It is an early access title, and that being said, it's a top-down like XCOM game to where you're playing as three soldiers that you choose from a list of whatever you get at the start of the game. And they do have, like, money values and different types of weapons, but mostly it's just people with bolt-action rifles, shotguns, pistols, some machine gun, maybe an AK, you know, and then you choose the three and then go with them. When you get into the actual combat, of course, it's like, again, like XCOM, to where there's percentage chances to shoot people through walls or be able to have a Overwatch slash what they call Opportunity Fire, putting in a cone to where any time there's an enemy coming in that direction, they will start to shoot at them. The other thing about this game compared to maybe XCOM that's different is that there's speed. Normally you would have accuracy, range, you know, if there's obscuring of some type of field of view. In this one, speed really matters. Say, for example, you're point-blank range with a shotgun and a guy has 33 seconds and you have 43 seconds. He killed you because he was faster than you were. And I've died three times to squads, point-blank range like that, because my guys were super slow. So highly recommend that if you fight medium to high range, if possible. That's why I go with bolt-action rifle, shotgunner, and then SMG guy for all pretty good stuff. Combat, you have shoot. You have Opportunity Fire, which is the Overwatch. Reload, and then if some cases you're by a door or a fence, cut fence or open door. Then you have the different postures, which is standing, crouch, and prone. Another thing when trying to deal with people is that sometimes they'll have Overwatch with bolt-action rifles and scopes. They're going to get higher accuracy hits than maybe you trying to shoot them with a shotgun or a pistol. So watch out when you do that, because I was actually crouched above that mound, thinking I wouldn't get hit, and he just headshot me. I guess if we're talking about the introduction, like I wanted to show off, you'll get these listing of soldiers that you choose from. It doesn't really matter the money, they just say you choose three of them, and that's what your go-to is. After that, they talk about how beforehand you're a private contractor trying to do your own thing, have your own squad, and then do these various different missions. When you get into the actual map, they have these different sections you can play from. The safe house to, like, walking different pathways. The game does not have, as far as I know, any roguelike elements. So it's mostly just the standard do the farmhouse mission or do, like, a uh, mission that's neutralizing a VIP. Maybe even having to uh, sneak in and get something without detection. The other thing I forgot to mention when it comes down to combat is that you could aim for different portions of the human body. For example, there's the head, the groin, the arms, the legs, and then, of course, the chest. The chest is always going to be the one that's the widest and easiest thing to probably hit. But, of course, when they have to deal with combat and, you know, armored units, it's probably going to be harder to kill them with a single-action rifle or maybe even an SMG at full burst. Again... Accuracy and speed are a main thing. You could always tell the difference of the speed because there's a timer above your head before they actually start to shoot each other. And, of course, anybody that's accurate, even though they're speedy, will probably die or survive, depending upon the situation. Some of the situations I've gone through, especially when you're point-blank range next to the enemy, is that they will always kill you, unless you're super fast through an item or some other means. The other thing... I wanted to talk about with some of the negatives when it comes down to this game. Early access is not a negative, but I've had a lot of, like, I guess, performance drops where the FPS would drop a little bit or the game would crash once in a while. And that was from either having a bunch of units move or just spawn in my field of view, like, instantly, making my PC go slower, crash the client. So there's just a couple of things right there. Again, nothing too damning or serious, and the only other jankiness I've dealt with is some slowness of the game and my character's animations looking all weird, like when they run or they're trying to shoot with opportunity fire. Before I forget, the movement speed is on the top portion of the uh, soldier card. When you see at the left portion of the screen that has the three soldiers, you'll see how far you can actually move. And again... The game is $20 on Steam. 
I highly recommend people pick it up or try it because it is fast and I haven't really had much issues in loading times or getting a new game in and just playing. So there are some issues. It is early access, but I think it's worth it for $20. Anyway, I've been One Nut Punch, another video. Thanks for watching as usual, and I'll see y'all later. Thank you.